time for a second cup of coffee with WICC's Tony and Mike in the morning as another interesting guest joins the show. Here's Tony's conversation piece on WICC 600. All right. Uh, we're here this morning with a nice lady by the name of Patricia Karowski, and uh, she's going to talk a little bit about the 15th annual Walk Run for Western Connecticut Health Network Foundation. And, uh, well, uh, uh, right off the bat, Patricia, welcome to the show. It's nice to have you. It's nice to be here. Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, just could you give us a little background? I, I, I know that you're a cancer survivor. Uh, you had breast cancer. Yes. And and uh, share your experience at the uh, Norwalk Hospital's Whittingham Cancer Center, if, if you could. Well, basically, after I was diagnosed in August of 2014, I started going there for you know, my doctor's appointments, my treatments, and truthfully, it's a I don't know if I could say wonderful, but it's a great place to get your treatments the doctors the nurses all the volunteers are fabulous like i would i would go i always brought like arts and crafts with me because i wanted something to do while i was sitting there i was mm -hmm. sitting there for like four hours so sure. got to get something to do and they'd always come over wanted to know what i was making be interested in me as a person not just like a patient or a number or anything like that and like anything that i had questions about different types of you know, things that I needed to do once I got home in case I had side effects or any sort of problems or how to move on to the next step, how to, you know, get fitted and get a wig when I needed that or who I needed to talk to if I just had, like, questions. They were always there to answer my questions and basically treat me as a person. And I felt so safe and comfortable being there. And the funny thing is, when I was all finally done, I actually kind of missed going there because yeah. I would, <laughs> well, I went there every Monday for like quite a few months. Sure. So like you spend a day there with them every week and suddenly they kind of become like a second part of your family. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it says a lot about them that here you are, you're done with your treatment. Uh, but you miss you miss going, and I I, I know it, it does sound ridiculous, but but in a way, it's a testament to the good work that they do there. Oh yeah, they were absolutely fabulous, and the fact that they actually cared about what I was doing and what I was making, and you know how I was feeling that day, mm -hmm. actually meant a lot to me. Sure, as a person and as a patient. Mm -hmm. Just one. They sound like they're wonderful people. I mean, they they become like you said. These men and women, they become your family, they become close friends, and I bet you stay in touch with a few of them as, as well, even though it's over for you. Oh, yeah. There's actually some that I've seen in going grocery shopping in Costco and Stop and Shop, and we still stop and chat for a few moments because, sure. you know, like I said, they were very wonderful nurses and doctors and people there. That's nice. That, that, that really is. I mean, it's not nice what you <laughs> have to go through, but it, it is a, that, uh, I'm glad they made it a good experience for you, a nice experience. Tell us a little bit about the, the walk run. Now, are, it, what, what is your role in, in all of this? Well, basically, um, actually, I was still getting treatment, and like I said, I was so happy with the what I was getting there and how they treated me that I wanted to kind of give back in some way. Mm -hmm. So my first one was four years ago, and I you know, volunteered at the walk. And so since then I decided, you know, I would like to also be part of the committee to plan the walk and be able to then give back to both, you know, the cancer center at Norwalk Hospital and then also anybody else who has to go there. I wanted them to be able to have the same great, you know, experience and treatment that I had when I was there. Okay, and where's the walk going to be held? It's at Calf Pasture Beach in Norwalk, mm -hmm. and it's actually this Saturday the 5th, uh, Cinco de Mayo. So it's going to be lots of fun, dancing, music, or even having a taco bar. Who doesn't love tacos? Mm. I will be participating in the taco bar, for without a doubt. <laughs> um, and we actually, it's great this year because it's the 15th anniversary of the walk itself. And also the 125th anniversary of the hospital. So we are having the walk on May 5th, which also happens to be the 125th day of the year. So it's perfect. It all works out. It'll be bright, sunny day. As of right now, bright and sunny. It's still going to be bright and sunny on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And basically it's a day for people to get together, have fun, enjoy each other, be able to support the people that are currently going through treatment, the people who have, you know, 
are all good and also the people who unfortunately who have passed and we remember them and so support and love for everybody who goes there all right patricia we are running out of time but two questions uh the proceeds who benefits from all this um the patients the families uh is basically it the proceeds will go back to the Whittingham Cancer Center, giving people education that they might need in cancer treatment and then afterwards, um, iPads that people can use while they're getting treatment in order to you know, watch movies, TV shows, listen to music, um, getting fitted for wigs, helping people with that, uh, snacks, beverages that you might wanna have while getting treatment. And basically it's different ways to make the patients more comfortable while they're getting treatment and also to learn how to, you know, take care of themselves and get through everything. Okay. And how can people sign up or donate? They can go to um, nhwalkrun.org and on there, there's the links to sign up, to be able to join a team, to just donate. And also there's a whole bunch of information about the walk itself, about what the walk benefits about the Whittingham Cancer Center, different pictures so you can see exactly what the walk benefits and what it does for its patients and also their families. Okay, sounds good. Once again, that's happening this Saturday at uh, Cab Pasture Beach. What time? At, it's at the walk. The run starts at at 8.30 and the walk part starts at 10.30. And one more time, give us that website so people know what to do. It's nhwalkrun.org. All right. Patricia, thank you very, very much. Thank you. You look wonderful. Keep up the good work. Here's to good health and good luck with the walk run. Thank you very much. All right. We've got 958 traffic, weather, news, and then Laura Ingram on the way.